Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create text as a circle shape. So what's an example? Say for example we have this donut shape which is in a sense a circle. And we have text in here that kind of goes around the circle. Uh, this is one example. Another example is maybe we want to have our text outside of a circle but still have that same circular shape. Let me show you how this can be done. Let me go ahead and get out of the slideshow view and go into a, another slide here. Now let's say we create a circle first and what we can do is I've got my drawing a group here I've already got the drawing icon uh, if these, these are not here for you you can go to insert and insert shapes and we can draw a circle here so this is basically when you hover over this it's an oval if you, we hover over here let me go ahead and move out if we hover over it's going to tell us it's an oval but we can still select a shape and press the shift key while we draw out our oval and that's going to create a perfect circle. So if I look at the perfect circle, the the width and the height should be the same. And it is 3.58 to 3.58. Let's just make it an even four for both. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me go ahead and move the circle back up here. And let's say, for example, we want to draw uh, a shape or text that goes around here because we want to have it around the circle. And let's make the circle green. Oh, let's try green for our color right now. And we want to create the text. So what we want to do is insert a text box. So I'm going to use the uh, text box command here under the drawing group. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and just tr draw out a text box. Let me go ahead and type out some text. This is a perfect circle that, oops, circle that is also a nice green color. So after we create that text in our text box, we can select it uh, under the Format tab here. We're going to go under Text Effects, and we're going to choose the Transform option and do this follow path. Now when we select that, it's going to tell us, when we hover over it, it's going to tell us circle. And once we select that, it's not really a circle yet because now we have our text box, which looks like a small rectangle. Now rectangle. What we want to do is we can change that into a uh, perfect square. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give it a size of maybe uh, 3.5 and 3.5 here. And so now it's kind of a, a nice square, but I want to have it outside of it. So let me go ahead and kind of just uh, hover over here and see that it, it actually is a nice square. It's going to fit inside here. If I want it inside the circle, that's fine. This kind of fits it just well. Uh, if I wanted to outside the circle, I would have to increase the size. And I can just press the shift key and then just kind of bring it out here so it, it stays within that shape of a square, which you can see that 3.92 and 3.92 here. And I can just move it around. Let me go ahead and move it around here. Let's see if I can move it around. We have our guides when we move it around. You see now that's there's, there's a horizontal guide. Uh, let me go if I, if I can find it. There's a there is the horizontal guide here and there is the vertical guide which tells us we are kind of uh, within we've lined it to the center that doesn't look that good so I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger here and so it's outside of it so let me go ahead and move it again let's see if I move it there move it down whoops move it up here and now we've got it kind of outside the circle so if we wanted to align it a little bit better we can just go ahead and select the text again and we can go ahead and use this uh, pink or purple or lavender marker and kind of move it around. So we can move it around and this basically uh, distributes the text around the circle. So we could just have to play with it a little bit. I'm going to move it down here and over here a little bit more. And this kind of lines it first now. So we can also do a lot of other things with this text. We can give it uh, different colors or increase the size. I can just select that text, control A to select all of it go back to the home key and increase the size a little bit more. And once you do that, you'll notice that it kind of changes the orientation of it around the circle. What you can do is then you can just go ahead and select the pink marker and see if you can adjust it a little bit. Maybe adjust it here. Oops, that was a little bit too much. Control Z to undo. Maybe I can just kind of move it over here. And if you have also have some problems with uh, adjusting the purple marker to distribute it, you can also just use the a uh, little green handle here and kind of move it around so we can just kind of move this around and it will also kind of orient the text a little bit the way that we want it so this can help us kind of orient the text 
the way that we would like to have it uh, go around the circle. So that is the basics of how you can create a text circle. You can put around the circle here, or you can put it within a, a donut shape within the circle. And that kind of like makes it kind of a nice alignment to a circular object, whether it be a circle or a donut. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.